Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay, this particular letter only has two that I care to share. And, of course, it's still Wednesday, February 24th. Now it's 10.38 a.m. So let's quickly get through these. This first one is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Okay. I have prepared a path before you. It is a path that you can safely follow to fulfill my purposes regardless of the dangers and roadblocks. I will take you by a way that you have not known and show you things you have not seen. It is a solitary path of belief to accomplish what I have given you to do. Go forth in my power and strength. I am with you. Psalm 71, 16. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, of yours only. Now, I have to tell you that it sounds to me like the Lord is saying, I have prepared a path before you. Like when we go outside of time, we're going to be going to places that he speaks of in here that you have not known and show you things you have not seen. Because, you know, I'm sure I'm going to end up outside of Birmingham, Alabama and where I used to live. Well, of course, I got a brother in Minnesota, and I haven't seen that. And a brother in California, I haven't seen that. Not where he lives. And another brother, well, I've seen his place. But, <laughs> but the point is, I'm sure there'll be more places than that that I have not seen. And so I immediately thought of when we go outside of time. Because... In the physical here, I can't go anywhere else. Unless the Lord just miraculously sends a bus with a lift uh, or heals me and then a bus, a regular bus and with tickets. To, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So let me know what you think about it. But here's why I wondered. Because of this sentence, it is a solitary path of belief to accomplish what I have given you to do. Now I thought, okay, maybe it's because we each on our own have to have the belief in Jesus to have kept his commandments, the way to live, the way to help others, to love others as ourselves, to love God most, that's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, desiring the Holy Spirit and his gifts. You see, that's where some people will, will fall down. That will be their one thing that will keep them left behind because their denomination taught them the gifts of the Holy Spirit died out with the apostles. And they won't believe they need to even ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Alright, so I'm wondering, is that what it means? I'd like to ask your opinion on this one, okay? What do you think it means? That it is a solitary path of belief to accomplish what I have given you to do. Okay, I will go down to the last one. And it's, let's see. I guess they were all put up February 24th.
they're always dated the same. Your days are tense. Boy, howdy, is that the truth. You feel stretched and pulled. You are thinking if there is one more thing I have to deal with, I will snap. Some days I feel that way, brothers and sisters. Quit that kind of thinking. Everyone has the same number of hours in a day. How are you using yours? You can become your own worst enemy and actually sabotage your productivity. Change now your thinking and your pattern of behavior to see your day unfold with life and peace. And the scripture that this lady put with it is Romans 8, 6 from the NASB 1995 version. Well, does that mean they changed the version? That's probably the version I have. But anyway, moving on, it says, For the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. And that's by Robin Robinson Bowen. Spirit is life and peace. My mind is set on the Spirit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But I guess sometimes I do get in the flesh with my fatigue. And it weighs me down. But I pray in the morning, what do you want me to do today, Lord? What, what do you have for me to do today? What should I try to get done? I've been praying that lately, mainly because I'm trying to get this art project done and I'm thinking I'm just going to stick the letters on and let it go. And then I got to get ready for the thrift store to come on next Tuesday. I have to box everything up and make sure I've got everything that I want to clear out of here, out of here. I got to have it ready cleaned up because I always clean everything. I want to spray it with hydrogen peroxide if it can be at all. I don't use Lysol. Hydrogen peroxide is much safer and it kills germs on contact. That's why it bubbles up when you spray it on a sore. You cut yourself. You clean it good with hydrogen peroxide and then you dress it. You don't need a fancy cleaner so anyway I'm going to end it here and say um, God bless each and every one of you and that's going to be it for today I'm going to get a nap and then I'm going to work on my uh, whatever God tells me <laughs> we'll see how I do okay I love you all so very much and I so look forward to seeing you up there in the air. All right, big hugs to everybody. Bye for now.